said I was too offensive. Good evening and welcome to At Home with Sly Stallone. Starring me, Sylvester Stallone, and my good friend Kurt, who lives in my converted garage. And now it's time for At Home with Sly Stallone. You know? Alright, welcome Stallonians to the only place to get answers to the enigma that is Stallone. As always, we start with a, a peek into my diary. Excerpts from my diary. All right, let's go here. Excerpts from my diary. Here it is. This is February 9th, 1970. Well, diary, I made a decision. I decided to do that porno. It will only be a problem if I become an international superstar, so the odds are in my favor. Plus, I'm in a desperate situation. This may be the only way to get the word out about my sweet dong. Maybe in the future, we'll be able to send dong information quickly in some sort of interlocking network of satellites, like a worldwide mesh. Anyway, that's just crazy talk, diary. Here in 1970, you need to be in a porno. Talk tomorrow, diary. P.S. I came up with a new catchphrase. It's yo. It's the sound I make during ejaculation, but you already knew that, silly. All right, that's a little excerpt from my diary. A little peek into the young mind of Stallone in 1970. Let's bring in my uh, good friend and garage mate, Kerp. Hello, hey. mate. Wow, Sly, I, that was, uh, first of all, I didn't know where yo came from. That's but really also, good. I didn't know you invented the internet. That's what you basically did. No, that's not the internet, no. That is yeah, the, the, the inter, inter mesh. But the mesh is different than net, my friend. How? Well, the uh, mesh is a uh, filigree or octagonal intersection of lines. And that is for fish and nonsense and sending your dong. Totally different. Hey, Kurt. Yeah. Do you remember the maid that was here a few weeks ago? Ten. The one that, that uh, yelled at me because I took the blame for all the rotten things that you do yeah, in your house? Some apparently? things are wrong. I forgave you. But she doesn't want to be a maid anymore. You know? Okay. I don't blame her. More talented. Uh, she she's, deserves higher levels. And she wants to start her own business. And she's mm. going to be a life coach. Oh. Now, I suggested, and she loved this idea, she needs a first client. Okay. And you are her first client. I'm going to bring her in. She is going to get hey. your life together. There she is. Am I on? You're on, Tammy. You go to work. Hey, work. Uh, Kirk, listen up. I started my own business. Yeah. Okay? And um, I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. Now, listen up, Kirk. She's doing listen. this. You're doing your favor. Go ahead, Tammy. Have you seriously stepped back and took a good look at your life? No, you fucking haven't. Okay. But I have. All right. I spent all day writing down shit that's wrong with you. Okay? Jesus okay. Christ. That's right. okay. You listen up, Kurt. Come on. And I came up with 19 pages, but I'm only going to go over two with you since it's our first session. Okay. Right, first, okay. First of many. I want to hit you with some truths. Some damn <laughs> truths. Okay. All right. Okay. Number one, you smoke way too much fucking weed. Oh, boom. TNT. That's right, all right? Everybody watching knows you're fucking high. Now, listen. That's right. I smoke weed, too. Okay. All right? But I don't wipe my ass with paper towels. We're two different people. Oh, boom, TNT. <laughs> okay? I'm better. Hey, hey, hold on a second. Hey, hey Kurt. You yeah. Stop, you stop giggling with your highness. She is trying to save your life. Go ahead, Tammy. I'm sorry. Well, he's oh. hot as shit right now, and you need to show Stallone some respect, okay? He's a saint among us. Thank you. Thank and you. And you're a piece of shit. All right. She's built, she's gonna knock you down first. Okay? Yeah, she's that's gonna, what I'm doing. She'll build you up later. This yeah. is how life coaching works. Yeah, yeah. this is how it works. This is how mine does. 
my business. Be- Let me run my business how I want to run it. Boom, TNT. Nice. Okay. Yeah. All right, Kirk. Okay. Tell me your goals in life. What you want to do? Great question. Uh, well, I was working on a podcast, and then no, no, nobody listens to podcasts. All right, that's a stupid fucking goal. Okay. Boom TNT. Boom TNT. Some TNT you with. Listen up, Kirk. Come on. Now listen. I know three things for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. What I have down here. Um, you take your time, Tammy. It's your first lesson. You're yeah. doing great. I am motivated. Yeah, I had to write everything down because I, you know, you're my first client. I wanted to be sure I got everything across. You're okay. doing fantastic. Okay. Kurt, you're the kind of fucking scumbag who yeah. always takes a shit when his girlfriend's in the shower. Boom. TNT. That's you. That okay, is. you're also the type of guy knocking shit over with your arm because you don't know how long it is. Boom, TNT. <laughs> In your mouth breather. Yes, right. Boom, TNT. Yeah, hitting that TNT. I don't know what yeah. that means. Yeah. Hey, um, that, that's all I got. Damn, that's fantastic. Yeah. So, Kirk. She's yeah. Here. First, she's going to knock you. Stop laughing, Kirk. This is a serious thing. Right. I ain't not funny You live in a garage, my friend. You live in a garage. You right. live in a garage. You live where cars go. That's you shouldn't right. be laughing. That's right. It's All nicer right. than any apartment I've ever been in. It don't matter. It was a garage. That's all that matters. Boom. TNT. All right. You don't yeah. live in a regular house. That's right. You are outside where you might put an animal or some a tool. So exactly. You're where tools are. Yep. Right. Little screwdriver. Little so screwdriver. Look, this is the first lesson. She's going to knock you down for nine or ten lessons, and then that that clay will then build you up. Right, Demi? Yeah, this is just our first session. I mean, I still have, what, 17 pages to go. All right. So we'll do that next time. Thank yeah. you, Kurt. For Thank you. you. Thank you, Tammy. For, All right. Um, no problem. Thank do you. Better. <laughs> do Tam- better. Boom. TNT. All right. How about that? How about that, Kerp? Tammy really exploded in my face. She showed she showed you some truth. That's all, you know. That hey. I'm a mouth breather. What does that even mean? You don't use your nose. I use my nose. All right, not according to Tammy. And I've seen you sleeping. You sleep like an angel. I gotta admit, when I see you sleeping, my heart warms up. Sometimes I'll go in there to see if you're awake, to hang out late at night. And yeah. You're sleeping. And I will watch you. I will watch my my little Kerp. Hey, Kerp. Yeah. I have another surprise for you. Oh, what's that? I, You know, I've never won an Oscar for Best Actor. (laughs) I am surprised to hear that. It is surprising. So what I've done is I'm doing a new Rambo movie, but I've made it in my house with a green screen, you see. And I have the trailer, and I want to debut this to all the Stallonians out there. And I, I want to get your your uh, real opinion on this. All right, sure, the entire thing's on a green screen. There's no on location anything. You're going full Star Wars prequels. Yeah, that's what they what they do now. It's all green screen. It's fine. Here is my trailer for my next Rambo movie, which I do believe I made it to win an Oscar. To be honest, this is an Oscar bait Rambo movie, is what you. It is. I mean, just just being honest. I, okay. All right. Here we go. You ready for this? Yeah. Stallone is back. There's something wrong with me. I'm all tired and scrawny. I better go see a doctor, you know? This time, he has AIDS. Wait, Doc, are you telling me Rambo has the AIDS? But that hook and told me I, I was her only client. This is a serious movie, Kerb. What are you doing over there? I'm crying. Kerb. You're laughing at Tammy trying to see if no, I'm, it's a... I'm doing this movie. I put a lot of effort into this, Kerp. It looks great. It's a serious film. Okay, I want to see it. I'm I'm excited. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Why is everyone laughing at this movie? I'm not laughing at the movie. All right, stop, let's stop giggling here. Hey, yo, Nancy, it's Rambo. Listen, you better check yourself for AIDS because I have the... <laughs> hey! What's wrong with you people? I think the fight's here, and the whole time the fight is inside Rambo's body. Come on! 
Rambo. HIV blood. Who is of color than you? You know. What is what is this? I don't know if you should make that movie. What are you talking about? Make that not make that movie. <laughs> very rude. That's my finest performance, that carp. I gave that everything I got. Oh my god. Yeah, that's you really funny. slim down though for it. I give you that. You did a real... 150 pounds for that movie. <laughs> you did a real Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's who wins the Oscars. You know, I'm not to I'm not to get a yell from people. I need to I need to cool off after people not react. Let's see how the audience reacts uh, to that. Because uh, guess what, Kurt? What? You want to guess? Oh, is it time for a yell? It's time for a yell. It's time for a yell. Come on, you Stallonius. Let them yells in. Come okay. on. Okay. Hello. So this is from Jason Dankolfson. Yeah, Thanks for the right. five bucks. Oh, that. hello, Sylvester and Kerp. Question for Mr. Stallone. How did you come up with your interesting method of capitalization? Uh, is that a yo? <laughs> that is a very oddly spelled yo. Here's a nice yo. That's from, not uh, a yo. That is a yoo-hoo, and that is not a yo. Come on, guys. That's a long yo. Damn, he's fighting for love. Also not a yo. What is yeah. happening here? Did you not see this? It's time for a yo. But he gave an HIV blood. Hey, what's with the laughies on that? Come on. Come on. Give me them yo's, Stallonians. Is there yo's? Come on. Brad, there's, 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 there you go. There's there's potatoes, yo. That's how, you That's how you do this. Very slow yo's coming in. Very slow. Here comes some. Now yeah. we're some Jankles thing got it together with a yo. Now he's got a yo. That's nice. Look Thanks, at Mark that. Smith. Smith. Thank you for them super chats. Look at this. Over his baby face. I'm HIV positive. You should hey, make that movie. Hey. <laughs> First of all, you're in the yos. This is supposed to be yos. All right. <laughs> I'll accept the triple yo. All right. Andrew, thank you for them super chats there. All right. Look at these yos. Beautiful. All right, Kurt. Ready for our next segment? Wait, let's see what Joel Miller says. Sly, can you shout out my favorite radio show? The Preston and Steve show. They love Sly. Unbelievable. I love uh, I love the Preston and Steve show. The President and Steve show? No, Preston and Steve out of Philly. Oh, you know them. Preston and Steve. This is a yeah. shout out to you, even though it was during the yo segment. <laughs> <laughs> I have a smile there, Kurt. You see that? Yeah. Do you want to see I my smile? To... Always. Are you sure? You didn't ask for it. I, had, I sort of fished for it. May I see your smile, Sly? All right, Kurt, here it is. Okay, there, there, it is. there it is. There it is. Yo, this yo. is an exclamation point, yo. Donkey Bite was into your uh, preview. So I, like, yo. well. I like the first part of that sentence. Yo, big yo's, beautiful. Mm. Thank you for all these yo's. SNA. Sylvester's News. Oh, there's a yo with an E on it. An yo, old English yo. Not how you spell yo. All right, hey, Kurt, you remember this? Uh, it's my favorite black guys. Remember that? Okay. We had this. The coolest Jews. Remember these? I, well, you, you said they were the controversial. So I got a new one this week. You ready for this? I wish you would run them by me before you do them. This is a good one. My favorite animal penises. You know, people get all uptight about uh, sexual organs, but the animal penises in the animal kingdom, very fascinating. Right. This is your and these are your favorites of those. Uh... Yeah, these are my favorite animal penises. Okay. My favorite animal penises. Here we go. You ready? Mm hmm. The whale. <laughs> Some of them are as long as 24 feet. Kerp. That is a, a marvel of modern biology. Yeah. All right. Duck. Did you know the duck penis is a corkscrew? The male duck penis. They have a corkscrew penis. And the female's vagina corkscrews the other way. Why? It made it difficult. That's what? Right. Yeah. And there's all kinds of fake chambers. The female duck genitalia is a chamber of lies. Much like Brigitte Nielsen. 
I'm telling you, it is a very traumatic and painful event for all parties involved. Yeah, it's not fun to hear about. No, ducks are born of, of hatred and rape, Kerp. I'm doing this for you. You know what? What? What does yeah. that mean? I see you out there by the pond. You know, feeding them rapist crumbs. Tell them your. You tell them your problems. You know. I didn't tell them my problems. I think I yeah, just. Go, I, see, I see you out there talking to the ducks by the pond, telling your problems. You need to know the terrible truth. Don't be like me. For years, can't tell you how many times I've been conned by ducks. More times, I like to admit. <laughs> Know this. Um, I, I'm not getting too close to the ducks. Don't worry. I just fed them the one time. All right. Nothing well, about their penises came up. Well, that, those are my favorite penises. You just have two? How many animal penises should I have, Kerb? What am I, a pervert? <laughs> no, I just... If you, have list... more than, if you have more than two favorite animal penises, you should be put on a list. How many do you have? Two is not enough, Kerp. I can tell you one of my least favorite ones is duck now. Yeah, I would say duck is my least as well. All right, let's play. Let's play a game. It's time for a game, right? Right, stud audience? Yeah, what's the game? Stud audience love this game. Hey, Jessica. Yes. Let's play that game sting. Okay. And now it's time for everybody's favorite family fun game. Guess my line. Arnold's lines. This is Arnold's lines. My nemesis. Oh, wow. Yeah. You, you switch it up a little bit. He's got the dumbest lines. You guys can <clears throat> see this. Yeah. My God. Unlike mine that are cool. AF. Yeah. Are you ready for, to play the game? Stallone, yeah. you played this game, so you have to guess what the stupid Schwarzenegger line is. You finish it. Here we go. Hey, what? Come on, Stalonius. What does let that her, clown say? That let, silly fool. Let her go. <laughs> let her go. Nah, sillier than that. I think echidnas have a five have like five headed dongs. Oh, I hadn't heard that. I don't even know what a kidney is. I know. They're very smart Stalonians. They know all kinds of animals. Kurt loves all penis. It seems I can't like pick a favorite one. Like, that's only two that you love? I was like, Kurt. <laughs> yeah. I don't think about a bunch of penises, Kurt. Tiger Woods. No, oh, is that what he thinks Stallone is saying? What does he say? Yo, you, Yo, you missed my two super chats, Kurt. Hey. hey. Well, Jessica's in charge of that. I don't. Yeah, I just Jessica, read what you missing super chats for. They go so fast sometimes. They go too fast for Jessica. Isn't you cute there? Isn't Jessica look cute there? She's always giggling. Look at her. Whenever I put the camera, she doesn't like it. <laughs> she doesn't care for the spotlight. She doesn't like the, the spotlight. Yo, hey, it's yo. not time for yo. Where were you last time when we were doing yo's? Yay, Adrian, I doth did it. Is that a suggestion right, for the put, line? Put up the three uh, uh, the yeah. multiple choice, Jessica, because this is, they're doing terribly. All right, here's a multiple choice for hey. Okay, hey, Christmas. Hey, Kurt, get, come get under here with me. Okay. Get closer to me. Um, yeah, that's okay. it. Me, my little Kirby. Is it A? Come on, Stone Onions. A, B, or C? A, hey, Christmas tree. Hey, mm. fatso, or hey, Trojan horse. Let's mm. that set up again. Let's go. <laughs> hey, lighthead. Hey. What do you think oh, it is? He said lighthead for. I'm going to say Christmas tree. Christmas because... tree. Come on, Stone Onions. What do you say? Jessica, put up them guesses. Anybody guessing? Hey, B. Hey, yeah, Fatso. Fatso is a possibility. Fatso. Okay, here it is, guys. Does here he say it. Trojan? Hey, Lighthead. Hey, Christmas tree. <laughs> Christmas tree. What a stupid idiot. What a <laughs> stupid line. You know, he improv that, and they were going to say, like, oh, that's a great line, Scott. And they're like, yeah, we should keep that. And he was like, yeah, I say Christmas tree. They're all that, that. Stupid jacket. The guy's a clown. <sighs> Stallone. He is our enemy. Know this. All right, here's the next one. Hey. 
All right. What is what is what is Stinky's line that he says? What do you think? Come on, Stone Age. Get it, man. Yo, Jessica with glasses. It's a beat. I don't know. By BTW, the way, BTW. By the way, wait. Why are they putting? You didn't put the choices up. Look at his picture. He's got Stallone himself. You are an <laughs> imposter, sir. Stallone is right here. He's the king of improv, not Seagal. That's right. Cool off. Whoa. Oh, that might be a cool off. Stick around. Okay. Stick dude, around. Jessica, put up your multiple choice for us, please. I thought stick around. You're full of know. gas. That's a good one. Okay, Kirk. Time to get under here with me. No, wait a minute. Kirk, I think oh, I'm I'm under it. But you're not close. Oh. Get to snuggle under. Oh, Hot dogs like are ready. Oh, that's pretty good. Hot dogs are ready. Yeah, but it's on a big. break. Let off some steam, or you look yeah. very steamy. I think it's let off some steam because I have seen Commando. B, let off some steam. B, B's coming in strong. You guys ready for this? Yeah. You ready, Cup? Here's the answer. Let off some steam, Bennett. <laughs> that guy is a fool. He talks like a weirdo. All right, here's the last one. Ready to do one more? Yeah. Ready Schwartzman beggar sucks. Schwartzman beggar. We're going to do one more of what's my line on a version. Here it is. He is sub zero. Now. Now. <laughs> All right. What I could think? not imagine. I have to see the choice. I can't imagine. Choices. It's insane what this. What this all, <laughs> the owl. <laughs> moron. Yo, Kirk. <laughs> I got to get up. Yo, yo, my friend. Yeah. Okay, Jessica, let's put up them guesses because uh, I don't think I was going to get this. You that on. Do you do any other impressions? Oh, Stallone. Do you do other impressions besides that great Troy uh, Tiger? Uh, I do uh, Bill Maher a little bit. Mm. Oh, now, okay, people. That's all I do. That's the only impression I do. <laughs> that's a great slide. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Want to read those off, Kurt? Okay. A, first. So he goes first sub zero. And then mm -hmm. the next line is A, now plane zero. B, now sub sandwich. C, now get me a coat. Oh, very stupid. Would you not agree, my friend? Yeah. Look at these. Stallone is trying to guess, but these are all terrible. I think it's A, because the rest of them don't make any sense. Plane zero doesn't make sense, because sub zero is always already it doesn't. zero. So plane zero would be going up. Yeah, it doesn't. I, did he burn him? Nothing makes sense with this man. He is from <laughs> another country. Yeah. Not the long way. <laughs> You don't like him as an immigrant, is what you're saying. He doesn't belong. <laughs> yeah, doesn't belong. Here's the answer, folks. He is sub zero. Now, plane zero. Oh my God. That is. Going... I didn't like his eyebrows either. Plane. Like he oh, really. Uh... He doesn't have kind eyebrows. Like my <laughs> He acted like he laid down a Tammy TNT just then. But look at these new subscribe like buttons that, that Jessica made. You see that? They're over your oh, head. I wonder what the hell that was. Yeah, those are pretty good. Hey, you know <clears> what it's <throat> time for? What's that? This is a part of the show where I teach. Where I like to say what I learned today. What about your... Something I learned today. I learned that duck penises are like corkscrews. <laughs> it's time for a yo. Now it's time for a yo. Come on. <laughs> Come on, uh, didn't, didn't you go into business with Arnold for Planet Hollywood, Stallone? Uh, yeah, guess what? It went bankrupt. <laughs> Come on, that audience. I should have known better. <clears throat> go in with that donkey. Yo, yo, some yo, nice yo, yo's yo, coming. Yo, Guys, yo, some great yo, yo's coming yo. in. Thanks. There's a good yo. Great yo's. Yeah. They fuel me, Stallonians. The yo's, they are like my spinach. Thank you, <laughs> yo's. All right, let's do a little, let's do a little cup of What does some cup of Sure, sure. All right, here comes some a cup of talk. Cobra talk, over the top edition. Yeah, we're doing the over the top edition. So they're talking about over the top. That's right. Only, mm -hmm. and I again, I feel like this could have been. This is more complex than it has to be. What do you think? Just call it over the top talk. No, if it's you want Cobra to talk about over the top, it's Cobra Talk over the top edition. What don't you understand? No, I understand it. It just seems like adding. 
It's just, you, I think there's going to have be confusion out there, but. Watch your mouth. You watch your mouth. Okay. All right, style audience. Get your over the top question. Yo, I'm smashing my like button. Hey, that is a perverted man who was saying something. Is that correct? Oh, well, it was uh, that wasn't an over the top, I don't think. I don't believe that's an over the top. Give it a smile, Kerb. Uh, oh, yeah. that's a great. Let's give it. I will allow this. Kerb, <laughs> I'll smile with you. Uh, F- Fez D says, I didn't like the kid and over the top. He was soft. That was my son. He was the, your real son? No, it's not. No, but he was my acting son. So you lay Keep off. in touch with your acting sons? No. Hey, don't try to get out of the smile. I've been smiling. I'm smiling. Okay, three. Oh my God. Kerp trying yeah. to produce the show now. I'm I'm not trying to produce the show. Yeah. I'm just trying to uh help out. Watch your mouth. You have to start with a not smile, then go to the smile, Kerp. That's how smile works. Watch. There we go. Lighting up the world with his smile. Jonathan Swift. Thank you for them. Super jabs. I ran into your films by purchasing Cobra. At a yard yard sale. Not Cobra Talk. Yeah, this this is over the top. Over the top edition. You're confused like Kerp. Is Kerp short for Kerpus? It's actually just Kurt and no. It's uh, not short for everybody. All right. We're going to. Kerp is going over the top. Is over the top. We had no no questions. What are you going to do to celebrate your 35th anniversary win over Drago this Friday, which is not an over the top? Question, but I am curious. I'm very right. confused by this category, which is not confusing. It's Cobra Talk over the top edition. Do you still turn into a machine when you turn your hat around? That's a very good over the top question. Let's see. I'm a nice guy right now. Things are not, not, not like this. Now it's time I beat you in wrestling <laughs> my arms. <laughs> Yeah, Just I guess that answers the question. Once you go over the top, what's next? I think you come around the bottom, then up the other side. Yeah. <laughs> Good question. You win a truck and your son back, too, as well. What's your favorite line from over the top? Mm. Hey, that's a pretty sweet truck. You know? <laughs> I don't remember that line. Yeah, it was cut. It was on the cutting room floor. I was pissed. Well, My favorite. Did anyone break an arm while filming over the top? That's a valid question because that was a lot of intense arm wrestling. Yeah, there was a little kid there. He's about nine years old. I said, hey, come over here. You want to wrestle the champ? Yeah, now he's a big Stallone fan. Yeah. And I think I went a little too hard on the kid. Think <laughs> yeah, like, so oh, there was a broken arm. It was that of a child. Those, you know those fan. bones that turkeys have? <laughs> oh, God. A wishbone? Yeah. yeah made that sound. Why did Cobra eat pizza? With, this is not Cobra talk. Well. <laughs> Cobra talk. I told you, it, it, people, people get confused because it doesn't. Bunch of curbs out there. Very clear what this is. What, what are, are you, you going over the top of? Oh, that just blew my mind. <laughs> yeah. I guess uh, the other person's fist. How, Mr. Frostiano says, how does your wife and three daughters feel about having Clerp live in the garage? There's not one part of that was about over the top. Uh, next question, please. They don't like it. Sly, Sly flex. flex on them. This is, this is not like we got to go to the next thing. This is is Kerp like, is Kerp in over the top? This no, is, I was never in the film over no, the top. Kerp has been in zero films. Rocky, you can do it. Pick me ups. All right, mm. it's time for this, and then we're gonna end the show. And this is this one's from a while ago, but it really affects you. Yeah, I get all riled up. up. It does. This bothers me because I want to pick this guy up. Yeah. This Rocky pick me up goes out to Michael Ekvall. Let me turn this music up just a touch. This gets me pumped. The long distance runner who won international fame after suffering a massive colonic fail while running in the Yurt Boy Half Marathon. It's a fairly common condition known as runner's diarrhea or the Indian shimmy. But at the time, we'd never seen anything like it. (laughs) As if that wasn't enough. Michael's picture quickly spread all around the internet. Like diarrhea in in track shorts. (laughs) People from the race coming in here laughing at you. Saying, how'd you get diarrhea in the front? Showing up late. Saying, I just got here. Why does it smell like shit? None of your business. 
in that moment, the only thing worse than being you, Michael, was being the person behind you. You became known as the, to the waters as the poop man, a.k.a. diarrhea knees, a.k.a. the shitty skeleton. I imagine the name calling her deep. I know that since that day, it seems like you will never find love or trust a fart again. But you listen to Stallone. When the drive through of life served you as coffee with a side of ha harsh browns, you didn't park the car and ask to speak to the manager. You just kept driving. Some people would have taken a break, cracked down some baby wipes, maybe not had White Castle one hour before an important race. But you are no ordinary man, Michael. And you reached down deep. You kept pushing and pushing. And you came in 21st. And that's an inspiration to people everywhere who suffer from high mud pressure. So keep pushing. But don't push too hard. You might crap yourself again. Oh, wow. I'm telling you. I get really riled up for those rocky pick-me-ups. Oh, my God. Oh, that shit. picture was really intense. Oh my god, really does. Hey, I'm gonna uh, end the show. Did you have fun today, Kurt? Yeah, like except for the I mean the life coaching was a little bit much. I don't feel like it helps me. You weren't very thankful for life coaching. I'm gonna write my diary before we go, but we don't wrap up. Is she even licensed to do that? She's just practicing her life coaching. You don't need no license to life coach. You just gotta inspire people yeah. like you. Who need a little coaching, to be honest. You have to be honest, there, Kurt. I didn't feel as inspired as I guess uh Look, it was her first time. She's going to do more. She's got to rip you down first. Teddy G, KGB. Oh, trust that, that was guy. the longest I've ever looked at diarrhea. Oh, um, fair enough. You're welcome, I guess. <laughs> Depends on how you look at that. Right. Kurt, my friend, thank you for joining me today. Thank you, Sly. We're going to now end the show as we begin with the diary. This time I write in the diary. All right. Are you Stallonians? Relax. And thank you for joining me. Thank you for supporting the show, spreading the news to the little Stallonians around the world. I do appreciate it. All right. It's time for me to write into my diary. Dear diary, I worry that my sweet, naive curb will be violated by ducks in the most intimate of ways. I have dreams of Kerp being held down by ducks. I'll spare you the details, but there is blood. All right, that's our show. And remember, when the world gets you down, Stallonians, keep on punching.